come to you, uh, um, Professor Nyang. You are an observer of African politics for more than three decades. I've only been observing African politics really for, uh, you know, two decades so far, at least uh, uh, using the platform of the Voice of America. We do at least know that uh, in Uganda you have an elected government. We do know that uh, you have three branches of government. You have the executive, which is headed by uh, President Yoweri Museveni. You have the judiciary, which is headed by uh, a chief justice. You have the legislature, which is headed by a speaker. Is there any reason, despite what you have heard from Dr. Chiza Besije, a man, of course, who is uh, an American, retired but not tired, uh, telling us that uh, it is not possible. As a matter of fact, uh, I was looking at uh, some Ugandan uh, papers and uh, they assert that uh, President Museveni told the speaker and her colleagues who went to meet him at his country home in Luachitura, deep in Ankore territory, that if parliament recalls the house to come and review the circumstances under which Serena Nebanda may have lost her life, they will do that, and I quote, over my dead body. He also went on to say that if parliamentarians defy him and proceed, they should be ready for, quote, severe repercussions and court, and they should not say he did not warn them. Is that a democracy? Under yes. any circumstances, if in fact some of these reports are true? Well, if these statements are verifiable and we can investigate them, he is a dictator like other dictators across the continent. And I think Museveni benefited from the manner in which he was portrayed during the Clinton administration as some of the new leaders. A new bleed of African leaders? That was what Bill Clinton thought was happening at the time. What about I someone who has in fact said they have turned out to be a new breed of African dictators? They are the breeds of the new African dictatorship. And I am telling you one thing now. In this second term of Obama, you are going to see some changes in Africa. We have Charles Taylor at the Hague. We have another dictator who was seen as a democratic force in Cote d'Ivoire. Bagbo, he's now at the Hague. All of these people are going to end up that way. Charles Taylor has been nailed, uh, you know, essentially 50 years, to serve 50 years in prison. Yeah, the thing is this. What for has to aiding be and abetting the RUF. We're talking about his support for a Lance Corporal for the Sanko, a brigadier or a general mosquito. He never even stepped in Sierra Leone. They say he has killed about 100,000 people. What about other dictators, for example, in the Great Lakes region, Frank? No, 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 it's coming. Who have aided and abated? No, it's coming, it's coming. The trial is heading to Stansfield. You have the same situation right now in the Gambia. The situation in Senegal could have gone the way of Uganda. It was prevented by the Senegalese people. They went A combination to, uh, of Senegalese people and the international community. Well, that is the narrative. That is what happened. That's why Abdullah Wad had to step down. He was going to do the same thing that Museveni and other dictators have been doing in Africa. We'll come to that. Uh, 